you're welcome to this channel once again our people believe that there's no peace for the wicked it means people who are perpetrators of evil they definitely will not find their peace of mind we are now in an age in a society where no matter how famous rich influential you are if you involve yourself in any activities that do not suit the youth and also the law of our country you will definitely pay the price today i'll be talking about the top things that Nayamali have lost since the death of mobad hmm. back in the days in our system here everyone thought because you have money you have the fame and you have the star power you can have your way through the system especially after committing a crime or after doing something that is very very diabolical Naramali seems to be facing the hands of the law and also other societies in Nigeria as a lot of people are angered with Mobad death based on the fact that he was alleged to be the killer of Mobad because before Mobad passed on he kept on announcing that if anything happens to him along the line in his music career and life path we should hold Naramali and his associates responsible and since Naramali is currently on the run well, today I'll be talking about the top things that Naira have lost since the death of his colleague, Mobad. But before I continue, please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Also, don't forget to like our post on Facebook. And for more updates, click on the red subscribe button and hit the notification bell. You see... They say, no, let Nigeria happen to you because the moment the people in our society take up their own space against you, whether you're a high-profile musician or a top politician who can beat the law system, there's no way you can escape this. Well, I guess this is what Mobad Spirit is currently doing to find peace of mind. Not be smart thing they happen to. So. Since the death of Mobad, a lot of things have been happening to Naramali, especially the negative things. Even people from his record label are also bearing the consequences of Naramali's action. Like we always say, there is no peace for the wicked, and it's high time people start coming together in one voice to chase people who are no longer doing whatever is out here to serve any individual in the most positive way. Yes, Mobad is dead, but Naramali is said to be his alleged killer. And according to a lot of video evidence online, they are saying Naramali used his close associate Samilari to frustrate Mobad's life before they killed him. Since the death of Mobad, Naramali have lost a lot of opportunities. I feel like sometimes when you think you're above the law and untouchable, when the hands start meeting you, well, I, I, I don't think at that point in your life you'll know what to do. And because Naramali is currently not in the best place at this time, Naramali is on the run. The things he has lost includes his house. The moment people were notified about the death of Mobad, a lot of angry youths marched to Naramali's house and according to them, they didn't meet the Nigerian musician or any of his associates at home. So they decided to bring down the roof of Naramali's expensive mansion that he bought six months ago by setting it ablaze. Not with small you know, because they posted the video on social media to give the Nigerian music star a message letting him know that he is not above the law and also even in the music industry he is a nobody hmm you see at times the things we do could strip off strip us of a lot of things we've worked so hard to build especially when it has to do with your career your finances your connections i mean Naramali in the Afro music world was so popular that so many people even compared his own fame to that of Whiskey and Bonner Boy. He was able to influence a whole lot of youth to join his fan base. People stopped wearing belts because of Naramali. People started acting wild because of Nara. 
people had a different approach to life, especially the younger generation of boys because of Naramali. Yet today, that same Naramali are falling from grace. And because of this, another thing that he's lost is his fan base. Currently on Instagram, over 600,000 fans have unfollowed Naramali and more are still counting on the way. Hmm. They unfollowed him as a result of the fact that he's nowhere to be found on his allegations of taking the life of his fellow colleagues in the industry. He's not said anything. And how many days after the death of Mobad was announced, Naira was spotted on Snapchat dancing and making video celebrating it. Well, another thing, too, is the fact that almost all the radio stations in Nigeria have stopped playing Naira Mali's music. And even in U.S., London and so many places they've actually been said to have stopped playing Nara's music because they don't like what he did to Mobad. So Naramali's music video have been removed from the playlist of MTV Bass and Sound City. His music has been banned by radio stations like Splash FM, Fresh FM, Island FM, Oki FM, Divine, Agidibo FM. He has lost over 500,000 followers. And another bad luck to where they follow Naramali Nabise, Zinoleski tour, where they don't schedule for US, well, they don't cancel the tour. And according to where they talk, they say, the money, them no go fit get their money back. Hmm. Naramali is losing a whole lot of things. And also, his music stream too, they don't follow they stop to the stream in all music because the moment things like this happen, you see the fans, they start diverting their own attention to other people who are in support of the justice system for Mobad. And you see people going over there to stream their music. And because of this, Naramali have lost plenty streams. What makes you an artist is the fact that you can actually work hard for your songs to be seen and represented. Now, no one is actually in support of Naramali. So many people in Nigeria currently are burning his portrait. A lot of them are, I mean, denouncing him, taking tattoos off their body that had to do with Naramali. So many people, even for the political system too, they don't follow call on Naramali. His ambassadorial ship with the NDLA have been revoked. Let's not forget that how many months ago the NDLA announced Naramali as their ambassador. And because of what is going on, they don't finally come out and come to say Naramali, no, they're part of their own organization again. And according to Gis Lover, that the Nigerian police authority system is giving Naramali how many days him and his associates, if not, them go declare them as wanted citizen. Hmm. The toss said the CP has instructed Naramali and Samilari to turn themselves in. If after a few days they don't cooperate, they will be declared wanted. We are getting there, meaning the justice for Mobad is still on and there's progress. And also, I guess in Naramali family to follow day on the run. Even the people on his record label are denouncing and denying Naramali. Zinoleski just took off the Naira um, Mali music world from his record on Instagram and he's finally replaced it with another record label, which happens to be the new one that he just set up, I'm guessing, because this thing will happen, don't block ways for even the people around Naira, especially Zinoleski, whom people have actually stopped streaming his songs and his songs have been been paused from being played on several radio outlets. Now, you see, many people in this industry, they think immunity is actually something that comes with riches, fame, and your reputation, and also notoriety. But the fact is, no matter how bad you are, no matter how big you are, no matter how you think you can actually escape the law, when the hands go meet you, the hands go meet you. And I think if there's one thing we are starting to understand about our social media space here in Nigeria, is once the youth starts protesting against you, once the youth starts giving you other allegations and they start for your own matter, you just need to count yourself as the unlucky one. And like I said, there is no peace for the wicked. Back in the days, most celebrities would think they are untouchable 
and today the system is changing a lot of things because the society is now speaking up. Well, Naira Mali have lost a whole lot of privileges. Even the celebrity status for him in Nigeria, yeah, he's no longer in existence. Take a, take, take a look at the way so many musicians and celebrity in the entertainment industry are unfollowing him. Even Skibi, Wayne Do Music, which don't unfollow him. So many people for the industry, from Davido to plenty, plenty of them, they don't unfollow Naira Mali, meaning they don't even rate him and respect him in the entertainment industry any longer. And now, the way then they follow Siam, and they see him less for the industry. Well, I just can't say, make a can't tell you now. They even toss in Naira Mali too, they follow burn down in cars for him house. Despite the fact that him gets maybe security, riches, fame, all those things, no fit to save him. Naira Mali have really lost a lot. And I just think I can't tell you now about the things where him don't lose. That's why they say, before you do anything, you just need to think twice. Because the loss too might be on you. And the moment you think you have nothing to lose, I feel like that's when the loss is likely to come to you because you never can tell if that person has a upper hand more than you. According to these people, Naira Mali was doing this because he thought Moba did not really have a say in the entertainment industry and he's a nobody. Now, you touch the hands of someone who you thought was actually a nobody and everyone is coming for you, both your celebrities, the authorities, the fan base, and even the music organization at large is coming for Naira Mali. Do you think Naira Mali might survive these things, especially the loss? The loss for him is more, and that's why he is still hiding. Well, I don't know, but I just make a con tell you now, top teams where Naira Mali don't lose. And I feel like that they use Naira Mali now, set example for the music industry, to tell these high-class musicians, where few say that they give plenty records, say, no one is above the law, and if you mess up, then go follow treat your own mess. Please, I'm begging Nigerians. I feel, I feel we are doing too much for this Naira Mali. We are just, we we'll make this guy. He's also human. We should stop on following him, please. Stop on following Naira Mali. Well, we know he's wrong. We should stop on following him. Me, even me, I feel for him. Why are we on following him? Block him. If you are doing, block, block him. Rip, block his account. What are go they do on follow? Block him. Not a block. If I know even that on follow can't be like block. See the block, the K and like Siski block him. Rubbish.